OK. So today we're going to talk about SQL and databases. SQL is a language to talk to SQL databases. It looks like something like this. Select star from users. That's kind of what it looks like. And before we look into that, we are going to go into the concepts of SQL and databases and what they actually are on your computer. So we have this program called SQLite. SQLite is a library, or it's just a program. Libraries are programs that you can download and use. SQLite is a program that speaks SQL. It knows how to speak SQL. There are other programs like this that also know how to speak SQL. There is MySQL. There is Postgres. Uh, there's Microsoft SQL Server. There's a bunch of them. They all speak SQL, but they also interpret it differently. So when you say create this database in SQL, all of these programs do that, but they each do it in their own different way. That's why if you create a SQL database, or if you create a SQLite database, MySQL will, would not be able to read from it. Because they're all their own little their own little worlds. Even though they all speak the same language. So SQLite is a program. You speak SQL to SQLite. And then it messes with the database and then it spits out data. That's the general overview of what SQLite does. So SQLite is not the actual database. It speaks to the database. You speak to it via SQL, but it's not the database itself. The database itself is not some weird, hazy concept. It's actually just a file on your machine. Just like a Word document or a Ruby file, a .rb, it's all, it's just a file. Like, it's just a fancy file. Now, it's not text. You can't open it up and see all your data in text because text is a different format. This is actually what you call binary. It's a bunch of zeros and ones. So if you open it, you would see a bunch of random characters because your text editor tries to read this as text, but it's not text. So it's going to look like garbage. But the point is, the database is just a fancy file. That's all it is. There's nothing special about it that separates it from other files. It's just data that lives on your hard drive. If you try to open it up, you'll see all the, the binary and marbled, garbled stuff. So we don't speak with our database using a text editor. We communicate with our database using SQLite. We tell SQLite, hey, give me this data. And then SQLite's like, OK, let me read from this database. I'll grab it and then send it back to you. That's how it works. OK, so within your database, we have tables. This is all the tables we've been talking about. So when we say user table, you know users have an ID, has a username, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. All of these tables live inside our database or our database file. So database is actually just a collection of these tables. 
one database can have lots and lots of different tables in it. We might have a user table. We might have a task table. By the way, your database names are always plural. All these tables live inside the database. So today, when you learn, hey, I want to select all the data from my users table, that's SQL. You tell it to SQLite. SQLite will read it from this database. It'll see, OK, here's the users table. Let me grab all of those records. And then it'll grab it, and then it'll send it back to you. It'll be like, here's all your users. And you'll see all of your users. That's how it works at a high level. So yeah, that's, um, that's pretty much all there is to SQL databases. Today you'll be doing, you'll be communicating with SQLite through their terminal client, and it's called SQLite 3. When you run that in your terminal, you'll get a prompt, and then you can type in all the SQL you want. So that's how you'll be playing with it to get familiar with it. And then if you want to use SQLite from Ruby, there is the SQLite 3 Ruby gem, and using that gem, you can run SQL and then get results. OK, so let's go over a bit of terminology. So these are called tables. Every individual one of these is called a row or a record. In the stuff we wrote, you'll see record more than row. But they mean the same thing. This is the database file. And then this is our SQLite program or library. A library just means a program that you can download and use for your own use. And the file system. File system is where you do everything. It's where you CD around. It's where you MK there. It's where you create files, save Word documents. This is all there is to databases. Everything beyond this is just fancy ways of manipulating data. So when you hear database, you should now have a clear mind or a clear idea in your mind of what's actually going on.